Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Tyler from That Worship Sound, and I have a quick tutorial video to show you guys today on how to easily load patches into the Worship Essentials 3.1 template. So let's jump over here. And this is the folder for Worship Essentials 3.1. And we have single patches, layered patches, and also patch designer patches that are included with this template here. As you can see here, by default, this template only comes with 36 patches. But if we look at the support page for the differences between uh, Worship Essentials and Worship Essentials Plus, we can see that Worship Essentials 3.1 currently comes with 85 layered patches and 185 single patches. So this only has 35 of those loaded, not 36, 35, including the user guide is 36. Delete all of these. Boom. To access all of the patches included with the template, we'd create a new patch here. Boom, patch library, go right here to user patches and instrument, or specials 3.1, layered and single patches. So by clicking on layered patches, we have access to all 85 that are included. So we can just go to any specific one uh all that gospel sure that way you can try out any of the patches the ones that are loaded by default over here when you first get the template are some of our favorites if we loaded up all 85 layered patches 185 single patches patch designer the template might not open except for those people who have like super super maxed out computers so you can definitely load them up one by one. Um, another way to do it would be to, and from this folder, you can go to um, the layered patches, find what you want, and you could just drag them and drop them like this. Uh, piano layers, grab Maverick layers. You can just drag and drop them this way too. Same thing for single patches. If you want to experiment with them or check certain ones out, we have them split into these nice little categories here. Um, and you can use that to find single patches to use both in main stage or in logic. For example, if we wanted a really nice uh, upright piano, for example, go to that category, drag and drop it right in. Same way it's from inside main stage, create a new patch. Boom, done. The same thing applies to our patch designer patches. For example, we have all of our six layers here. We can grab those from inside um, the patch library in main stage to create new patches. So say for example, we know already what sounds we want because we've, aud we've been auditioning them already. Then we could just jump right into patch designer uh, and then start going through and picking our sounds. So for every every layer has a category now. Layer one and jump down here to hmm, let's say plucks 
and we plug one. Boom, we have our first sound already. And then we can also do the same thing, drag and drop if you want to. Our layer two sound, let's do a piano for number two. Dark piano, one of my, my favorites. Oh, some additional content is required. Ding, download. Uh, layer three, let's grab, let's do another pluck. Of course, I gotta put my password in when I install new sounds. Layer four, let's do a synth bell. Uh, five can be a texture. Harmonics is a good one. Layer six, mm, I'll throw an organ on the, on the end. All right, so now we have the sounds sitting here ready to go. Let's, uh, Select them all, new patch, create, boom, delete those. Now we have my patch and it has ambient, dark piano, rhythm pluck, chiming in like harmonics. See the names load right up. There's still a, this color glitch with main stage three. Well, at the time of filming, main stage 3.5.1 has a color glitch for these of volume faders that hopefully will be fixed in a really nice exciting update coming soon I hope. so yep that is how you load uh single patches uh, layered patches and then also patch designer from outside the template since it only comes with those 35 layered sounds out of the gate um i recommend using the single patches for auditioning sounds, finding new ideas, things like that. And then you use Patch Designer to create new layered patches or go through the layered patches and tweak them in, maybe even rearrange them, things like that to find the perfect sound for you. When I'm trying to build a patch based on like a certain song that I'm playing live or a certain sound I heard in a track, I'll typically end up going through single patches uh, by category and try to find something that matches. And then when it matches, kind of build others, build all the sounds for that song in one patch so I can play it live. Hopefully this tutorial helps and have a great time using Worship Essentials 3.1. We love it and we know you will too. 